What's up everybody, this is Danny, and if you're anything like me, then you're super excited about that HTC One M9 announcement right around the corner. But what if you have the HTC One M8? Well, there's some really good news for you. The Android 5.0 Lollipop update is being pushed to the phone right now. So let's go over some of the new features that you'll find on this brand new update on your HTC One M8. When you first unlock your device, you will notice the lock screen notification improvement right away from Android 5.0 Lollipop. I really like this feature a lot. You can expand it, you can act on them right away, you can dismiss them, or you can just go ahead and unlock your device. Now I have a pattern unlock on here, and usually I don't use these, but I'll show you in a minute why there are a few features you can get to if you use some type of security or pattern unlock. What you may be disappointed in though is that it looks pretty much the same as it did on KitKat because this is since 6.0 not 7.0 that is coming up and aesthetically it looks very much the same. But when you pull down your notification tray up there things look a little bit different here as you can see and if you go to this little marker up here you can change your quick settings. There's a few new things that you can add up here and you can take away which I really like. It's a nice little shortcut. If you don't know what these three little dots do, they take you directly into that setting and it's not a toggle, so which I really like. So if you wanna go straight into that setting, you hit those three dots. You will notice that in the stock Lollipop that you have a multiple user accounts, you do not have that here. Even if you hit your profile, it takes you to your profile or the kids mode. So that feature is missing on here, which hopefully they'll add back in with Sense 7.0. Another aesthetic change that you will notice is the multitasking tray. Now it's in the card view, it's nice and snappy, you get your Chrome tabs on there as well. And if you look at the top, you have your Google search bar there, which is nice. Now, what's awesome about this too is that if you preferred that grid view from before, you go straight into the settings and you can actually change it back to that grid view if you liked it. And it has multiple panels here. If you just swipe to the left, you will find all of your different things that are running and multitask this way if you want. And also screen pinning here but one thing that I like is that you can actually do the screen pinning with a pattern unlock so if you want your kid to only stay on that game then you can and even if you hit the back and multitasking key at the same time it will ask you for a pattern unlock so it's one extra step of security. Earlier I was talking about the screen unlock and setting some type of security and you do have some extra features when you do that. All you need to do is confirm a saved pattern unlock and you'll see you have trusted devices like something like your smartwatch, trusted places, and trusted face which is pretty much face unlock. What's also interesting about HTC is that if you do not like the notifications that pop up in the beginning, and if you don't like that new lollipop style, then you can actually go into it and you can turn it off, which is kind of interesting. I personally like it, but if you do not want those on there, you can actually turn it off in this setting here. I did see a video where there was an easy mode like you would get on the Samsung devices and it would be here under personalize and home screen, but on the Sprint version, it is not there. Another thing that's very small that I really like is when you are playing music and a lot of people did not like that the lock screen only had a part of the album art, but that is fixed here. You get the full album art, so it looks nice and gorgeous. So that's pretty much the extent of the update. There's not a whole lot here. Pretty much it's just framework stuff and getting the M8 to Android 5.0 Lollipop. And the performance of it is extra snappy. The M8 was already snappy to begin with. It's probably the fastest Android experience out there. No lags or anything. You can see it is just blazing through all of these tasks. And the one thing that I noticed is that the battery life is not as good as it used to be. It definitely took a hit on battery life. So let me know if you have this update and you're having problems with the battery or or if your battery life is staying the same. So overall, I think it's a great update, but I think we're gonna have to wait for Sense 7.0 to be pushed out to the M9 first, and then I think we'll see some of those features trickle down to the M8. So let me know if I missed any of the new features down in the comment section below, and let me know what you think about the update. I know there wasn't a whole lot of new features here, but I really like when Android 5.0 Lollipop gets pushed to some of the older devices because I think it's the best mobile experience out right now. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.